Okay, here's some tips on how to teach the TH sound. And so um, the easiest way is to just tell the kids this. So we're going to pretend that our tongue is so hot. It's burning up and we have to cool it off. So we're going to put our tongue between our teeth. We're going to hold our tongue still. It wants to wiggle all around. We're going to hold it still. Hold it between your teeth and then blow on it to cool it off because it is so hot. Ready? Good. Do it again. Nice job. All right. We're going to keep cooling our tongue off as we say some sounds. Let's try some of them. We're going to do the visual phonics symbol for the TH and you just, you hold um, these fingers still and this one flicks up, but you turn it backwards. To the to the child. So you're going to go, all right, let's cool our tongue off every time we do these words. We're going to go thorn, thief, thumb. Good job. All right. Now, another um, little story that I like to use is that the snake, remember that snake that we were training to stay inside of our mouth? Well, it's a, it needs to come out just a little bit for just a little bit of air. So it's going to poke his head out and then he's going to get right back in his cage because he's pretty well trained now but we're going to let him come out for a little bit of air and then take his tongue back in okay so let's let our snake come out just for a little bit of air here we go and then get him back in good job all right let's try that with some words we're going to use our visual phonics and we're going to say two let him come out two Paste. Good job. All right, ready? Let's let him come out again. Burr day. Good. Ready? Let's let him come out again. And let's say bath tub. Nice work. Okay. And then you can also have him come out at the end of a word for a little bit longer. He's been so good. We're going to let him poke his head out for a little bit longer this time. We're going to say T math. Good job. All right, now, um, there are two different um, TH sounds. One is voiceless, and that means that you don't add any voice to it. So it's, it's kind of like um, when you do thin or thorn. And a lot of kids, a lot of times kids will replace an F sound with that because there's no voice for the F. But then there's also a voice TH when you go and you add the voice. So you can help them feel the difference. There's, there's T, when you go, when you say um, they, they're going to fill it in their, in their throat when they add voice. Um, and usually kids will replace the voiced TH sound with a D. So pay attention to that. So um, when I'm trying to teach them to do a voice TH, I tell them that every time the snake comes out, a buzzer goes off. So that you know the snake's out and you got to get them back in. Okay? So they will do something like, bruh, they're going to go, every time the snake comes out, there's going to be a buzzer. And then you can have them do it with brother and mother and feather. And that also will tickle their, their tongue will tickle a little bit. When you add voice, say, oh, it's going to, it's going to tickle the snake, and then you can fill it in that. Okay, so there's some tips for teaching TH.